Hey everyone, my name's the Ragamuffin Man, and today we're gonna take a look at the launch of Outsiders, more specifically, the god boxes and weird print issues that have been going around lately. So it's an absolutely huge story that's going around at the moment, but before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. We've recently hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank you if you've subscribed already, but there's still plenty of time to hit that wee subscribe button down below. And also, if you like your flesh and blood a little more bite-sized, you can find me over on Twitter at the link on screen now. Anyways, let's get into this story, my goodness. So just an overview of what we're going to get into is that recently there have been a lot of production issues, let's just say, with seemingly the Belgian boxes of Flesh and Blood Outsiders. Now, Outsiders just released on the 24th of March, however, it has been doing the rounds like a week or so beforehand because of pre-release weekend, and people have been getting some strange results. So, my spider senses first started tingling whenever I came across the Twitter account Apps Caramel, who, by the way, has a fantastic Twitter name, the Golden Runeblade of the West. So this tweet popped up on my timeline and said, someone in our Discord hit a god case. One legendary every six packs. I didn't believe them till they sent the pictures. Now, as you can see here, there's a picture of a ton of legendaries. There's two fables. This would be an absolutely fantastic box slash case for anyone to open. Also, for anyone that isn't really in the know, or maybe this is your first card game, there is the concept in some other card games of the god pack or god box. The idea being is that there is a pack or box or case or something that is packed with all of the highest rarity cards in the game. Essentially, the best possible possible pack that you can open. These are never really promised. They're normally never really mentioned by the company printing them. And it's just kind of a way of, you know, having that once in a lifetime, like pack cracking moment for fans. So really at this point, I had two kind of theories. One was that Legend Story Studios were printing God packs and they weren't saying to anyone and that this is great. Everyone's going to be hunting for these. Or two, that it was a hoax. So diving on down into the like sub tweets, of this, the first reply kind of made me a little bit more skeptical. It said, some more info since a lot of people think it's a meme. One, the case was Belgian print. Two, the player is just getting into Fab Logley. And three, had a witness, but no video exists, unfortunately. A lot of the L's were clumped in the last box of the case. So at this point, I just kind of thought, yeah, it's not really a big deal. It's probably someone either A, having a bit of fun, which is always good fun on Twitter, or B, it's someone who just got like an error box and it's nothing that is going to be reproducible. My how I was wrong. So the next thing that popped up on my timeline is essentially the tweet that just started all of the conversation like properly. And that is by Savage Lands News who said, y'all should be buying your cases from Disc and Dice in Portland, Oregon, because this is from one case. Fab Foundry will be posting a video on their channel later. For anyone who can't see that photo properly, that's 61 legendaries and six fables. That is the most ridiculous pull rate that I have ever seen. So at this point then, I waited anxiously for Fab Foundry to post their video. And the following day, they posted their video showing the actual case being cracked and all of these legendaries coming out of nowhere. Now, I, I would urge you to go over to Fab Foundry, check out that video. It's, it's bizarre to say the least, but I genuinely don't think that anything nefarious is going on here. These packs were being cracked directly from the box. As I say, I have no reason to believe that this is anything like nefarious or anything. Yeah, this is just absolutely insane. So at this point, there's only two possible conclusions. One is that Legend Story Studios are intentionally printing God boxes and sent them out into the community to give them a grand old time and some interesting draft nights. <laughs> or that these boxes are unintentionally making their way out there, which would be problematic to say the least. So we go digging further on the Twitter. I tell you, flesh and blood Twitter is just absolutely mad. As I say, follow me over on Twitter. It's loads of fun. This, uh, it's where all the magic happens in flesh and blood, I tell you. So next, Smithle Gaming posted a tweet on their timeline which said, This was shared in the GSC Fab Discord. The amount of god boxes and misfit cases seem pretty high this set compared to prior. Wonder what happened in production for this set run. I wonder that too, Smithle Gaming. I wonder that too. So this photo was one that I found a little bit more kind of alarming than the previous ones. Like it's so good to crack open a case and have legendaries just raining out of the sky. But this one, yeah, this hurt my eyes when I first saw it. I thought it was like some weird like meme optical illusion because of like the overlapping play mats and like weird cards. But yes, those are cards that have been cut at seemingly a like 70, 30 offset. Yeah, these would just be completely unusable. At this point, you would only hope that they'd be able to get another case in return 
considering this one is faulty, is that the word? And finally, the cherry on the icing on the cake is that some Outsiders Blitz decks have also been shipping with the wrong hero decks inside the box. As you can see here, someone picked up an Azuri Blitz deck and inside it was an Arachne Solitary Confinement deck. Yeah, the, the print issues in Outsiders is absolutely crazy. So these last two pieces of evidence here, the Misfit cases and the Blitz decks, yeah, it kind of shows us that this is most likely unintentional and that causes a pretty major problem. Now, there are too many tweets to kind of show here. Uh, it's not an unknown thing that a lot of people are opening boxes and they aren't getting any major hits at all. I opened a box without a cold foil, which isn't unheard of, but people have been opening entire cases, not getting legendaries, which again is not unheard of. But whenever you hear this repeating over and over again, multiple times a day, it seems that yeah, there are legendaries that are appearing more frequently in some cases, that is an understatement, and way less frequently in others. Now, this is confirmed to be Belgian print as well. Japanese print seems to be largely unaffected, although if anyone knows any more about this, please let me know down in the comments down below. But yeah, Belgian print cases, I don't know what's going on. Personally, I think this is a terrible look for the game. Whenever people go in and buy boxes, they obviously want to get like some kind of you know, nice big pull, big hit out of their box, and this would just leave people either A, feeling really bad, or B, feeling really good if you get a god one, but unfortunately, I think that there are more bad ones out there than good ones. So ultimately, in this case though, I don't really know what should happen. Legend Story Studios are obviously gonna have to contact, I think it's Carta Munde that uh, print the cards in Belgium and figure out exactly what happened here until Legend Story Studios ever, if ever, decide to post anything on their website, we may never know. But yeah, if Outsiders is printed going forward, Forward. Obviously, this is going to need to be fixed. I would imagine Legend Story Studios behind the scenes are working to fix this. But yeah, these first print ones, it's just absolutely nuts. But the one thing that I am sure about is to advise people in this instance to buy singles. I have always been a person who uh, has obviously no problem with anyone opening boxes. I do it here on the channel from time to time. But opening boxes as a means of getting specific cards is not something anyone should be doing. Uh, if you have the money to open boxes and you want to just crack boxes to your heart's content, more power to you. And I hope that you get like lots of fun out of the boxes that you open. I hope you get a god box. But anyone that's going out there buying cases and buying boxes to try and get a god box is probably going to be disappointed. The amount of people that I see failing at this is way way more than the amount of people I see succeeding at it so yeah I just say buy singles at this point it is the safest option to get the cards that you want so yeah that's what's happening at the moment with outsiders print runs my goodness it is just it's it's nuts <laughs> if you know any more about this or if you have any experience of opening like really bad or really good cases please let me know down in the comments below we're still finding out all of these things as they're happening so if anyone else has any information out there that they'd like to share please drop me a message down below uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already i would be a very bad youtuber if i didn't tell you at this moment not to subscribe to the channel and also if you want to chat to me more about anything and you don't like the youtube comment section you can find me over on twitter at the link that's on screen now anyways thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.